afternoon folks Keith here from Come On The Hoop Celtic so another emotional day um, after Biddy McNeil passed away last week Caesar this Monday the man that scored the winning goal in Lisbon Stevie Chambers has passed away sad sad thinking eh? 83 years of age suffering with dementia a long time um, similar to what Biddy was going through I'm just going to talk about his career at Celtic and I just want to say my thoughts are with his family, his grandkids and anyone that's close to him as well. And obviously my, my thoughts are with the club as well. Celtic supporters are in heartbreak again this morning after the emotional feeling of Saturday where tributes to Caesar was just it was emotional but it was just waking up to hear that news is just a lot. It's, it's a lot to take in, especially running for the title this week to get that point to be crowned champions in Batadri. So um he started off he he's from Cloy he's his dad played for Celtic um he got the chance to play for Celtic. He's originally from Cloy Bank and then nineteen fifty nine he made he, he made his debut against Airdrie at home. He won that won that game. It was on the tenth of March and then what what he's done was he's played over 400 games for Celtic. He's written himself in the folklore as well, over 200 goals as well. So he's up there with the likes of Jimmy McGorry, um, Bobby Lennox, Henrik Larsson. He's in that, that top strikers that up there with them. But it's just like it's just mad to think this is all happening. Like it was Tommy Gemmo last year, Jinky few Jinky what, over ten over 13 years ago. It's just sad, like it really is, like especially this time of the year as well. After the player player awards as well last night, quite emotional, emotional scenes. Um, the most important thing is he won 12, 12 major trophies with Celtic. So that's your your four leagues he was a part of. He won the um, Scottish League Cup four times. He won the Scottish Cup, and then he won the big one, the one that everybody remembers him for. That historic goal in in the Milan's net in Lisbon in 1967 25th of March 1967 Every, everyone knows it everyone knows it um, just phenomenal a phenomenal player he only played five times for Scotland bagging three goals in he's got an absolute wonder goal against Brazil as well so that's a little um, thing there but um, just running up to that Lisbon final that season when Celtic won in all fronts was the league, the Coronation Cup, the Glasgow Cup, the um, League Cup, the Scottish Cup. He scored thirty seven goals. In that campaign, up to up to all them cups, that's a phenomenal, phenomenal record there as well. Um, I'm I'm sure John Clark, Bert the old players that played with him, are feeling it today. Upset, very upset after like trying to get over Billy. Uh, but obviously, Biddy's funeral is on this week as well. So, it's going to be tributes. It's going to be a lot of scars passed in Celtic Park, passed there already. But it's going to be, it's going to be emotional. You know, it's just it's hard to say. Like such probably the best team that ever played in Britain, arguably the best team that ever played in Britain for the the history, the first team in British Isles to bring back that European Cup. You know, and he was the, he was the goal scorer. Him and Tommy. Tommy, he's going to be seeing Tommy in heaven. He's going to be seeing Billy in heaven. Jinky, Sean Fallon, there's loads of names he's going to be seeing in heaven. But um, it's just it's just sad, you know. It's just really sad. So um, I'm sure the football world will pay their respects. No question about it. They will They will pay their respects to him. Um, he ended his career at Celtic in 1971. It's down to injuries. Um, two years prior to that, he was suffering bad with injuries. And then his last game came against Cloyd in 1971. 6-1 win at home as well. So I just want to recap. 12 trophies for Celtic. 12 major trophies. That's not the... I'm not talking about the Glasgow Cups, Coronation Cups. I'm just talking about the big ones. The Scottish Cups, the Scottish League Cups, the titles, and the, that famous Heroic European Cup. Um. Over 400 appearances for Celtic, over 200 goals. He's in the top four strikers that I've ever with goals to for appearances for Celtic. He's up there with the greatest. Um, he's as his original name. His original name is Thomas Stephen Chambers as well. 
if that, no one knew that as well just to let you know that so I'm just gonna leave it there I'm just as I said my thoughts are with his family thoughts are with the club thoughts are with people associated with him as well so I'm sure we'll pay our respects on our respects on Saturday as well and I'm sure our Celtic fans will pay the respects at the, as they have uh, been doing all morning flowing on social media putting up pictures of them playing for Celtic that European Cup and he used to go and visit Lisbon with the team as well, the Lisbon Lions. So he's one of our Lions that sadly passed away. But he's in a better place now and God rest his soul. He'll never walk alone, Steve.